Donahue slept well last night for the first time in weeks. I was emotional. I was ecstatic, um, very shocked. Um, it was a, there were a lot of emotions. The mother of three from Dunmore has a son in his first year of remission from leukemia. Donahue has been fighting for pediatric cancer patients since she found out that the drug children like her boy Luca rely on was in short supply. Her hard work has paid off, but not in the way she was expecting. I never honestly in a million years thought that a big pharmaceutical company would reverse a business decision that they made. Teva Pharmaceuticals discontinued its production of the drug Vincristine over the summer. The only company left making it experienced manufacturing delays. Doctors and parents nationwide were terrified. So Donahue started a White House petition calling on the government to take action. The petition received more than the 100,000 signatures it needed, but it was Teva Pharmaceuticals that made the next move. It's like you're kind of used to yelling and screaming, but your voice not necessarily being heard by the right people. So when you see that it has been and you see that it does make a difference, um, it's just a very rewarding and emotional feeling. But Donahue is still pushing for a long-term solution. She's been in contact with state and local officials about potential legislation. Try to prevent pharmaceutical companies from being able to just, on a business decision, um, discontinue such an important drug that has no replacement, like Vincristine. Teva Pharma